Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is going to be your love read. Remember, take the energies how it resonates for you. If it's not your story, don't try and make it be. You can stick around to the end. There may be something that becomes relevant for you. But if not, you can carry on to the next video respectfully. Thank you. So, let's hop into it, Pisces and Aquarius. Let's see how Aquarius is feeling about you. Remember, the roles could be reversed. All right. So, what's the energy of Pisces and Aquarius? Pisces and Aquarius. Okay, we got the death card. Maybe some major changes or, um, or shift or something is happening. Okay. I'm hearing man down, man down, queen of cups, right? You know, she got her cup closed, queen of cups. When she in that energy, she's thinking about herself. She's taking care of herself, okay? To be he or she, queen of swords, okay? Somebody said what they said and left it at that, in the heart of it. I said what I said, okay? That changed things. Somebody's standing on business, Somebody's standing on motherfucking business, okay? The hangman. Hmm. Somebody's seeing something for what it is and feeling like they've been hanging in this same position for way too long. And look, she look like she ready to cut this hangman down from the tree. It's like, it's time for you to be released, right? I showed you all I could show you. I told you all I could tell you. I made myself very clear and um, maybe you're not understanding me. So I'm going to chop your ass up off this tree. I'm going to cut that rope. Okay? Because whatever's going on in the heart of this, the queen of swords, she wants things to move faster. She wants progress, uh, positive forward movement. Okay? And she wants it now. You know what I'm saying? She doesn't want to wait. She doesn't want to be hanging around for no, for no reason. Right? She see things how she see it. And she's trying to uh, make it clear to the other person of what she sees. What her perspective is. What her truth is. And she wants to move forward on that truth. Okay? Somebody may be like, you know what? This is where I got to think about myself. Right? Because I'm having to shift. Okay? So somebody's having to shift in this relationship. Whether it be you, Pisces, or you, Aquarius. What's crossing everything is the seven of wands. Okay, so somebody's cutting their energy off to their person. Slowly but surely, my feelings for you are changing because I see something. I want to move in a different direction and maybe the other person don't. But let's hop into it, Pisces and Aquarius. Let's see what's going on because um, there's a lot of guarded energy here. Somebody's like closing themselves off to this relationship. We got the Three of Pentacles showing up here with the Death card. Okay. Someone also could have found someone else. Could be uh, definitely in a third party situation. Or this could be, you know, someone trying to compromise and, and, and do their best to work this situation out. So that things don't have to change. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's definitely a thing. The Six of Cups. Okay, comes with the death card. So whatever's been going on in this connection, it's been happening for a long time. Okay, and somebody I feel like with the Queen of Swords is just tired of it. Like whatever it was, whether it's cheating, you know, whatever's going on. Somebody tired of saying the same thing over and over and over again, which makes them feel like I'm forced to choose myself here with the Queen of Cups. I've given you love. I've nurtured this situation. And, and it's like there's really nothing else I can do. But but everything I want from you, I, could, I need to give it to myself. So somebody's having a shift in the way they feel about their person. Okay, so let's talk to the Queen of Cups and let's see why does she close her cup off? What is the shift? Okay, she feels like maybe there's something better out there for her. And I'm not saying as far as another person, it just feels like she has dreams. She has, you know, things that she wants to achieve and she feels stuck here with you. 
not okay whether it be pisces or aquarius yeah that's it i feel stuck here with you we're not moving we're not doing anything you know it's a whole world out there that i want to explore i'm not meant to be in the box i'm meant to be moving you know i'm meant to be doing something you know so somebody feels like being in this connection is just like keeping them stagnant or at a standstill like not making progress right Ooh, that's a reason why the Queen of Cups like kind of shut off a little bit. We also have the Four of Wands. Queen of Cups wants something strong. She wants something strong that, that you know, where she feels like she's winning. Four, five, six. She wants success. She wants a successful connection. She doesn't want to have to deal with cheating or worrying about the same things over and over and over again. Whatever is going on with this third party situation or this three of pentacles, it's been happening so long. It's changed the way someone feels about someone else. And all the queen of cups want to do is win. She wants to live her life. She wants to explore the world. She wants to take, uh, she's open-minded. She's optimistic. She wants to take her chances out into the world to build either herself or her own foundation. She feels like I can win, okay? And I need a partner who wants to win, okay? So the queen of cups, she pretty much, this may be a same-sex relationship. It could be. That's the vibe that I'm getting. But this Queen of Cups, she really, really, really wants to succeed at whatever she wants to succeed at. And she knows the only way she's going to succeed in the best way possible is to protect her emotions. Okay. Queen of Swords, like I said, they made themselves very clear on what they want. And what they want is in a different direction from what the other person wants. So let's talk to the Queen of Swords. And she comes with justice. Okay. Queen of Swords needs to be fair about this situation. Okay. The Queen of Swords needs to take uh, a couple of steps back and, and really think about what she's asking for. Because when justice comes out, it's like, you know, you may not be right all the time. You know. You may not be being fair all the time because justice did come in the reverse and that's why I'm saying it, but I'm holding them up, okay? So the Queen of Swords may need to take a couple of steps back and kind of like check herself and try to be more fair and understanding about where your partner's coming from because not listening and just only getting what you want, it's, it's not a one-sided connection. You know, um, so not listening to your other to your person's feelings or taking what they say into consideration could also be something that leads to me not feeling the same about you because I don't we're not connecting. We're not vibing. We're on two different frequencies. You want to do this. I want to do that. And we can't find common ground. So there needs to be some fairness. There needs to be some balance. And everybody, truth is their truth, but we need to be more of a listening ear than a running mouth. Okay, so I do see the Queen of Swords always got to come back. Got to have the last word. My way is the right way. I know what I'm talking about. Like, you know what I'm saying? And it's just like, yeah, what you said is okay, but this is what I'm saying. This is what we need to do. And somebody like, well, why don't you just go your way and I'll go mine? Because I can't find the balance. There's no compromise. Right? So what else comes with the Queen of Swords? And it's the Two of Pentacles. Right? This situation is rocky. Okay? Somebody wants to take control over the responsibility that they have for themselves. Right? I tried to be in this relationship thing to make it work, but... I don't know if this is a new experience for somebody. I feel like it's almost like a same-sex relationship, but it's somebody's first time ever really like trying to be in a relationship like that or whatever. And and it's like, you know, they can't find their balance in it. It's like, you know, I just want to be happy. And I probably thought I could find some stability within this, but it's rocky. It's shaky. Okay? Okay. And, and like I said, the Queen of Swords looked like she said what she said so many times that she tired of saying it. 
you know, she feels like she made herself very clear on whatever that subject is. And she wants to cut this hangman down off that tree because it's like you stopping my forward movement. You're blocking me from doing all the things that I want to do. Right? So let's talk to the eight of wands. Let's see what she want to do. Oh, she about that life. Five of wands. Queen of, Queen of swords can be a bit chaotic or the way she speaks can cause fights physical fights literally okay but she wants to move past the chaos too but she ready for it she knows her mouthpiece can um get something popping off okay but she wants to be able to be moving past that right i don't think that this queen of wands wants her situation to end in chaos right but it will if you don't get out my way okay so, the hermit. Okay? It just seems like you guys are looking for two different things in a relationship. Um, Yeah, the third party situation. Seek, seeking something more fulfilling to your soul. You know, because the hermit, he speaks of the soul to me. Right? And I want something that's more fulfilling to my soul. I want something that my soul is calling to if I'm going to be in a relationship. And I feel like you guys are just becoming aware that this ain't it. Me and you not going to build this four of wands together. Right? Because Queen of Cups, she just turned her back on it all. I don't know who this hangman is. That could be the third party because that's the hangman just seems like, who are you? Oh, and it's the King of Swords. So the queen of swords found her divine match. The queen of swords may be wanting a man, okay? Or however it goes. But I see this queen of swords like, you know, literally like, look at this shit, y'all. Look at this and I ain't even being funny. Queen of swords like, move Pisces, get out the way. I'm finna chop you down off this tree because you standing in the way of me and my divine. Okay, and I want to get to my divine, right? I want to get to my divine as fast as I can. And I will fight you to move you out my way because what I'm seeking is no longer in you. Okay, and I only put it that way for you, Pisces, is because the, your Pisces card is there, right? So Libra, I mean, I'm talking about Libra because I'm looking at justice. But, you know, this Queen of Swords, she just literally found her match. Okay? And she's prepared to do whatever it takes to get to her divine match, her soulmate. You know? So it's definitely the change here is, is the third party. Right? And somebody found what they was looking for. And it wasn't you. Period. But you can take it how it resonates. Okay, this six of cups represent that this third party situation, this person ain't new. If this is a same sex relationship, somebody's bisexual, somebody been stepping out doing the opposite sex. Okay, or they could have started off with the opposite sex and that's their soulmate and that person is back in their life and that's who they want to be with now. They've been juggling this situation. Right? And it's created conflict. But the Queen of Swords, she wants to move forward on with her uh, soulmate. She's aware of that. And she would like for you to step aside and get the fuck out of her way. Queen of Cups, she over here. She's like, I want success. I can do what I got to do. I got to protect my emotions. I've already had the shift. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm, I can win in my own way. Right? I don't necessarily need a relationship to build what I need to have. It seems as if both of you guys tried something new. It didn't work out. But in the midst of that, y'all was blocking each other's progress. You guys wasn't on the right path anyway. It was never going to work out. You guys were never riding the same frequency wave. Okay, so what else comes with this hangman? And it's the five of swords, right? It, this this connection was disagreed upon disagreed upon it was frowned upon for whatever reason you guys didn't even get along for real for real i feel like you guys were lost and lonely and found each other and it helped soothe the pain or ease whatever it needed to ease at the time 
But the reality is, you know, um, we can't agree up to disagree. Like we can't agree with each other. We don't really get along for real, for real. The cl the more we get to know each other, the more we realize like this ain't for us. This is not meant to last. This was an experience that we had and now it's done. Okay. What's crossing everything is the King of Pentacles. Okay. The King of Pentacles is a Taurus energy and it's really a stubborn energy. It's a, a, a strong energy though. You know, it's a stable energy. Okay. Mr. Conceal don't feel. I like Mr. Conceal don't feel because he's the type of energy, even though, you know, like even like say like if you in a position where you may not have what you need, this person, the King of Pentacles, uh, 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 help you accomplish whatever goals you're trying to reach. They will assist you, right? They'll show you how to get where you need to be, how to get stable. They'll teach you. That's what I like about Mr. Conceal Don't Feel, you know? So with the King of Pentacles crossing everything, I just feel like um, everybody needs to find their anchor, you know, their, their, their place, of stability within themselves make a choice if you like men you like men if you like women you like women but whatever you like and whatever you do it cannot affect the stability you have within yourself right you can't see some people get in relationships and they depend upon a person too heavily or you know they so they build their life around it. And I mean, it's so crazy because we in 2024 and it's so scary to build your life around somebody who's not really sure about you or you not sure about them or hell, we ain't sure together. But we put our trust in each other to build something. And when it falls apart, people have to rebuild their lives sometimes. So with the King of Pentacles coming out, I feel like it's a strong representation to make sure that Pisces, you, Aquarius, you, make sure you are anchored within yourself. No matter what happens in your life, your stability will never fall apart. Right? You could be good and lend a hand and show somebody and help them how to, you know, or whatever, however that resonates or falls into place with this. Because I don't know why I said all that shit. But, you know, you can help other people, but not at the cost of yourself. If helping you hurts me, then I can't help you. If being in a relationship with you hurts me, then I can't be in one with you. You know what I'm saying? So, this the energy. Let's get a message in love and see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Humanity. Oh, humility. Okay. Um. So... You have developed a loving awareness that you and everyone else are the same, but on different paths, period. It explained everything, right? We don't, you, you two guys are just not on the same frequency. You're not riding the same energy wave. Your lives are going in two different directions. The time you guys spent together was an experience. And that's really just all it was. It was never meant to be a long lasting thing. All right, so that's the energy. I hope it resonated, Pisces and Aquarius. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see what chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces and Aquarius, you have the second chakra, and it's the sacral chakra, and this one is relevant to creative manifestation. I have the ability to manifest and create positive outcomes in my life. It is time for me to manifest what I need. I ask myself, what do I need? I am optimistic and creative in carrying out all of the tasks that come my way, even seemingly mundane ones. And I maintain a positive attitude in all I do. I am open to receive and I am deserving. So creative manifestation is the positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead. Hit that like or subscribe button, baby. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces and Aquarius. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.